Hello! See the mere cat here. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. Now, I've been through that door, it just sort of in my own time, as it were, and there's nothing in the door to the left. It just brings us back to an earlier point in the game before for a painting. So let's uh, go up here. It's quite on a small room, I tend to think that if there's a small room like this, it's giving us time to prepare for a boss. Plus, there was a save point there, and you know how I feel about save points. So, it seems to me that this is probably uh, uh, time to use Cure. And some of these characters need some serious queuing. And uh, they could probably also do with some serious either, actually. So. Well, I have a couple of hides there. That's going to be quite helpful. And uh, they're all at a fairly good level for that now, so let's uh, let's go ahead. You know the drill by now in terms of how I deal with uh, bosses and and skipping parts and stuff like that. So I've been playing uh, Undertale recently. Excellent game. I highly recommend it, but it does sort of remind me of something to do with bosses, which is just how I feel about bosses in games. Uh, I'll talk about it in a minute when there's no dialogue in the game. So yeah, he seems a bit confused there about what he wants. So uh So yeah, it's probably trying to possess his mind or something. So I don't really know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just gonna try everything and see if it works. To be honest, using Ker Kerwin at this stage in the game probably isn't a good idea because uh, it of course heals me so um, I'm not sure how good an idea that is I really ought to save it until later on in the game and uh, I ought to just work out I guess what works on this thing and what doesn't don't worry I will be getting round to, uh, to that thing I have to say about bosses at some point. Alright, let's start with Libra actually. Uh, obviously this is a uh, lightning boss. Ah, so that was quite helpful. It's at a lower level than the uh, previous uh, boss we fought, so... So yeah, looks like we need to use fire here, or, um, holy. That's where it turns out that uh, holy has, uh, has ended up being a really useful thing. I'm, uh, I'm glad I, I have a character who knows that now. I will be talking about how I feel about bosses, I promise. I've just decided that doing it actually during the boss fight is probably not a good idea. So. And this thing is actually at a lower level than the uh, last boss we fought. I don't know if I'm repeating myself or not. Oh, 
That's probably not good. It's probably not good at all. So yeah, it sort of looks like it's riding on some sort of green cloud, or uh, or possibly a green uh, lattice. <laughs> I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, yeah, fearsome looking thing that, and uh, it seems to be making the room uh, flicker with lightning as well. It was well, sort of a pity that so few of them know uh, fiber instead of just far, but I haven't given them a, a thing that would let them do that. So this is one of those straightforward bosses, which in a way I prefer because the strategy is pretty limited. It doesn't do anything annoying, like affecting my character's uh, status, either in society. Or just giving it something like, uh, I don't know, poison. Uh, I don't know if there's any significance to uh, it changing shape here. But I sort of sound like I'm responding to live stream uh, questions being asked by the audience here. And I'm not. There's no audience. I'm just saying whatever I think of saying. Um, I've forgotten what a sooner does. Uh, I would, I would look it up, but I'm, I'm not sure it's worth it. I don't really know what it does, so it might uh, make things worse for me. Yes, a lot of these attacks don't look like they're doing very much. Not my attacks, their attacks. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's... maybe when it changes form it also changes weakness, that's possible. Or perhaps I just used the wrong attack there by accident. I'm not sure. I might use Libra again just to see how much uh, how much there is uh, left this thing. See if Fyra but probably and Fyra will see how they Effect this thing when it's in that form. Ah, right, interesting. So holy does does a lot when it's uh, when it's in its other form, but when it's in the form of a woman, it's uh, much weak to fire. Interesting. Ah, it seems to change levels. Well, um, so we we'll stick with fire for the moment. And it's, uh, it appears to have started a countdown from on one of them, which I guess means that uh, Sabin is in trouble. Down, so we ought to because of the limited supply of them.
Alright, so we get rid of it. Ah, more magicite. That is assuming she survives. Um, I'm not sure. I, uh, I... I would guess that she's, uh, she's joined our party now, but... I don't know. I'm certainly not, uh, not going back there, so. So I guess we're uh, I guess we're done here. Doesn't look like. Okay, I'm going to assume that we don't really need to do anything else, and that Realm has agreed to join us. I might have a look at a strategy guide in a minute just to check that that's that that's true. But uh, yes, that that seems to be what's going on at the moment. Um. See if we can find an inn here and uh, use one of those. So we could do with some healing. Metropolis is a is a um this this uh, city is a vast metropolis of about ten people. Ah, I see. I don't care that much, but I see. I don't know where Death Gaze is, but he sounds powerful. This means I should probably try to avoid him until my characters are at a high level. But, um, let's have a look at their levels, just out of interest. So we've got a 39, a 40, a 41, and a 38. So there we go. Well, we have a number of options here for where we should go. I personally would like to uh, go to the Triangle Island now and uh, see what we can do there. I mean, in a way, Strago would seem like the obvious person to get now, but we're not going to uh, go and get him. Uh, by the way, um, I, I don't quite know how to find this island, but I have managed to find it before, so I will probably manage to find it again. By the way, um, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... We do have Realm. We definitely have Realm, but I am not... Uh, I'm not going to uh, put her in my party, because I just don't don't like her that much as a character. I don't think she's that helpful, so um, we're not going to get her. But uh, yeah, you know when you come to the correct island, it's, uh, it's somewhere around here, and uh, it's triangle-shaped, so there's that. I think it might be here. But, uh, you'll know, because you'll reach a certain specific creature, and, uh, hopefully we're powerful enough to defeat them. Um, now, there are some quite hard creatures to defeat here, but, um, it seems to me that we've managed to defeat the last couple of bosses really easily, and so I'm hoping that will happen again. But I'm not going to show it off unless we come to the right island. Ah yes, we are in the correct place. Alright, you do not want to fight this thing. Don't. Just don't fight it. Do nothing to it. Or just just wait. Trust me, it's this thing's attacks are virtually useless, apart from inhale, uh, which is what we want to do anyway. See, that attack missed, and gravity really isn't that powerful when this piece is using it. Trust me, uh, we'll be perfectly fine. But what we want it to do is uh, drag us in. Come on.
Come on now, you weird giant worm thing. Drag me inside your mouth. I don't get to say that very often. And we'll be uh, getting a new character here. Hopefully. Who, uh, who we haven't seen in the game before. So, uh, so that's cool. And uh, whilst we're here, we might as well have a look at this new Esper. Wow, that that is a lot of uh, cures of various types. And um, I don't know. Perhaps it would be worth. I don't know. I need Libra. Libra is very useful. Um, actually, I might get. I might swap it for for whoever has a uh, unicorn because unicorn is. I don't use most of the things that uh, that unicorn uses, and um, this does pretty much all of the things I was using unicorn for anyway. Which is HP improvement. It's such that. Uh, this is better because it has Curega. So uh, we're going to go for that. And uh, let's have a look around. You don't want to go upwards because uh, because that light there just leaves you back outside, Zonita. The inside of it must be gigantic because uh, because of all of this this stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about it, uh, it changing people into zombies, I really am. I don't know why I keep using, um, that, because, uh, because Set Sardust does that most of the time, so I should stop using the slot. Actually, to be honest, I should stop using Celais, because... She's no longer the only character who can heal. So, uh, I don't know why I'm still using her. Perhaps I can, uh, perhaps I can swap them around. I mean, she is at level 39. So I suppose there's that. And, uh, obviously if I have anything that can cure a zombie, it would be a good idea to use it at this point. I've got a feeling that I have. So let's go for that. Now I might not get through everything today, but um... Um... Amulet, there we go. But I will certainly get started on uh, this place today. He's got amulet anyway. Amulet. There we go. A super easy price to navigate, but never mind.
Well, you can really see why I was uh, reluctant to do this in any previous episodes. I think I might have to use a strategy guide to very carefully uh, make sure that I'm going in the right place, basically, or to the right place, rather, because it would be quite disastrous to keep wandering around here with uh, no idea where I'm going, so... Like we need to go downwards now. Or not. Aha. And apparently we can't uh, we can't have him knock into us. Well, Haith would certainly going to be helpful here. Uh, it seems that we're probably on the opposite side of, uh, of where we were before. Ah, that does sound quite helpful. So I've given him a jacket. To be honest, Salaz is becoming not really helpful to us now because um, she, she, her only attacks are physical attacks and magic attacks, and we have other characters who have magic attacks, and we can always uh, change her uh, her blitz, uh, sorry, her uh, her magicite uh, attacks to something else. So, I'm not sure how, how helpful she is. I'll have to check the other characters, I guess, and uh, see what level they're at. It would be awkward to go back to a level 25 character now, obviously, but uh, yeah, seems right. Okay, it looks like we have to avoid him. Gonna shirt off if that happens. Aha! As you can see, this is quite similar to the priest who fought a floating continent. I'm probably repeating myself here, actually. So I mean. sure what these new items do. They don't sound that helpful. Alright, that's obviously for uh, Realm there. Genjiyama. Sounds quite helpful. I'm surprised we only have one, but never mind. And that's another Realm thing. Uh, let's see if we could give one of them Genjiyama. 
Now, uh, one of them already has Geiger gear, so give him that. Aha! As long as I don't die now, which would be incredibly awkward, this should, uh, this should be done with uh, me messing around with those things. Now, I was going to talk about bosses, and uh, here's my thinking, taken after by Undertale a lot. Um, it seems to me uh, that maybe bosses are a bit overrated. I mean, bosses are, are fun, don't get me wrong, and especially when it's something like uh, Final Fantasy, where we're... Or certainly in the earlier Final Fantasy games, when there's actually some strategy beating bosses. Uh, that's certainly cool and interesting, but it seems to me that every time I uh, approach the boss in the game, um, in any game, my fear is always, well, is this boss going to be the one that I can't defeat? I never get that feeling about anything else, uh, about sort of normal enemies, but when I come up against the boss, I was thinking, well, will it turn out that my skills as a computer game player are not good enough and that I won't defeat this boss, or if I do manage to defeat the boss, um, or rather if I could manage to defeat the boss, I won't, because, um, because it would take so long that I'll give up before I actually have a chance. And it will turn out that I could have beaten him, but the game would stop being fun a long time before I managed to beat him. And I found that with Pokemon Reborn, which is a, a newly created fun, fun created Pokemon game that I've been playing recently as well. And in fact, I gave up on uh, completing Final Fantasy III. Not because the bosses are hard, I'm not complaining about the difficulty of the game, I'm fine with the difficulty of Undertale, I'm fine with the difficulty of this. I don't really like this trend that some recent games have of uh, holding a hand the entire way through, but sometimes it can get into a pattern where you get very hard boss, uh, fail, all your recent progress is removed, and you have to do it again, to get to the boss. Then, because it's a very hard boss, you fail, and all of your progress is removed, and you have to do it again. And between times, you have to grind in order to go up a few levels, which is not a fun thing to do, and um, eventually you do beat that boss, and then you come up to another section of the game, which is quite hard, but you manage to do it, and then you manage to get to the next boss, and the next boss you fail, and you have to go back and grind again, and redo all of your progress again. This is what happened on Final Fantasy 3 with pretty much every boss I fought, and eventually it stopped being fun to keep on going through this endless cycle. So, in my opinion, bosses are overrated. Although the ones in Final Fantasy VI aren't that bad, because there's at least some proper strategy. Now, I don't know how long this episode is I'm going to end up being, but I've decided since I've had a couple of short episodes recently, I think the last one was just 17 minutes, that uh, I'm actually going to continue until I make some, some real proper progress. So... I'm going to carry on. Yeah. I, uh... I see the problem here. Wow, I really see the problem here. Okay, clearly with perfect timing you need to get into the one place where it, uh... where that happens. So, underneath these crates, you're safe. 
but not underneath these crates, you're not. Okay, that was quite tricky, but you can see what you have to do there. And this looks quite complicated. Um, okay. This is real Indiana Jones style, yeah. Okay. That's where it is. Aha! He looks interesting. But, I would like to see if it's possible to get to anywhere else than here to get to that other crate. It might not be possible from here, but I'm going to try. Okay, it was possible. Cool. And uh, I might as well show off the one new thing that we've got that you don't know what it does. The other things are all things I reckon we already had. So, uh, so those are things for Shadow that we can throw. And this boosts physical magical power, so that's quite cool, but I'm not going to do much with that yet. And I will see you in a minute in that room we are in. Go, go. Stay by Okay, we now have Gogo in our party, uh, so to speak. Or rather, he's, he's probably going to be spending most of his time on our airship, but never mind. Okay, I'm definitely going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.